up, YouTube? This is Nick Ross here with Body Legends. I'm in some very good lighting right now, man. Like, look at this. You can see the shadow. You can see my cleavage. You can see some little cuts there. Man, I'm in some good lighting right now. Anyways, uh, coming at you guys with another video talking about natural versus steroids. If you don't know what natural is, let me break it down from the bottom. Natural or being natural is an athlete who doesn't take performance enhancing drugs. Um, steroids, a steroid user or an enhanced athlete is someone who obviously takes steroids. Now to draw a comparison between the two is kind of stupid because there's no way a natural athlete will ever be anywhere near what a enhanced athlete can be. Regardless if it's bodybuilding or powerlifting or sprinting or freaking you know biking for the Tour de France. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if you are enhanced, your body is just that much more. You know, you could take a normal man. Now, a man by himself, a natural man is a powerful human being. That That's a powerful entity. You know, men can do a lot of powerful things. Women can too. But, you know, the natural strength of a man, let's be honest now, is it's on another level than a female, of course, because testosterone and everything else. You throw drugs, you throw steroids into a man. You know, that becomes a freaking machine. That becomes a damn you know, bear on two legs. You know, there are some guys out there who are natural, who are just freaking phenomenal. Like, you know, you could take Ronnie Coleman, he took drugs, but before taking drugs, you see what Ronnie Coleman looked like? He was, you know, freaking two, three times the size that I am right now. I mean, his arms were at least, you know, 20, 20 inches, maybe with the pump. I mean, his biceps were crazy. His vascularity was crazy. His muscle size was crazy. I even think he turned pro natural. Uh, back then they had the NPC World Championships. And I think it was 1993 he won his pro card. You know, he just competed. Um, I think that was his second show. He won that. And um, I don't I don't think he took steroids till 1996. So he competed as a pro, an IFBB pro natural between about a year or two or three. I don't know the exact time frame when he actually took drugs. But uh, there's some number of years where he competed as an IFBB pro without being enhanced. And um, he didn't do bad. I mean, you know, he, I think, you know, he was placed in a t outside of the top 10 of the Olympia. But for a natural athlete to make it to the Olympia, I don't know if he was natural when he made his uh, Olympia debut. I think it was 1995 or 96. I'm not sure. You take people like Ronnie Coleman now, a natural athlete at the time who competed naturally and won his pro card naturally. He didn't even know about steroids till I think it was 1995 or 6. I gotta, you know, look back on my history of these things, but, you know, I mean, there are guys out there, there are people out there who can just look phenomenal, who can perform phenomenal, who can do phenomenal things naturally, but, you know, even so, I mean, you know, to take drugs, I mean, that just takes everything to another level, you know, your strength, you know, your endurance, your stamina, you can move and you can go and you can train for hours and hours and hours. How do you think these boxers train for four or five hours a day? A natural athlete can't do that. I can't train for no four or five hours a day. I mean, I might get up in the cardio, sorry, I might get up in the morning and do like an hour of cardio and then have my weight training session like an hour and a half a night, but after that, I'm burned out. Like, you know, I physically cannot push my body anymore. I mean, I can, but it's like beating a dead horse. Whereas if I was on, you know, performance enhancing drugs, I could do two hours cardio in the morning. I could do freaking three, four hours of training. Like it just turns your body into a, a powerful machine, man. Like you can do things. You can go longer. You can be faster. Um, I don't know about being smart. I don't know what it does with your cognitive abilities. I'm not exactly sure. But, um, you know, it just takes everything physical and enhances it. Natural versus steroids. Um, if you have a Ronnie Coleman type of genetic, which is rare, he's he probably like one in a million or one in hundred million you know he's a very rare individual because of his genetics of course but if you take a Ronnie Coleman and a natural Ronnie Coleman and had it up against an average drug user then that might actually be equal because Ronnie is just freaking crazy and an average guy on steroids is pretty much like a natural Ronnie but um you know let's say you take an average guy natural and an average guy on steroids this guy will forever defeat the natural guy because his potential is just that much more. He's faster, he's stronger, his protein synthesis is greater, his nitric oxide absorption, everything is just more optimal. There's a lot of drugs out there, there's a lot of things that an enhanced person can take. Even a pro hormone, which is legal, you can buy it and you can take it and you won't get arrested but it's still classified as a steroid. So you're not in, you're not natural 
if you take a pro hormone, all right? People think pro hormones are like this thing where you can get away with and you're still natural. You're not natural if you take a pro hormone. You're not, okay? But, um, you know, like I said, man, I mean, a natural guy cannot beat an enhanced guy. You just can't do it. You can't. I cannot outperform anyone that's on drugs. Maybe mentally, my mental capacity might be greater because I might have more determination and dedication and desire. But um, my physical aspect, my physical stature, it will never match up to what a drug user can do. So that's why people go on drugs. I mean, they want that edge. They want to be the best in their sport. They want to be just a little bit better. Drugs will make you far better, definitely. But um, you know what? Stay away from them. Don't take drugs. Um, if you can stay natural, stay natural. I mean, you can build a phenomenal physique naturally. Don't get me wrong. But um, you know, try to be smart about your life and try to understand the things that you're going to get involved in if you decide to go that route. Uh, anyways, Nick Ross here, guys, the Body of Legends. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Let me hit a natty shot. Boom. Natty. See you next time.